five. <laughs> Favorite joke. Liz hey, Laura. <laughs> hey, Jessa. Who are our guests today? We have Steve and Olivia from Eco Chateau. Uh, awesome. To our listeners, it's probably not a new name because we talk about it all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And Jessa, how do we know them? Well, we actually, you first introduced, well, I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I, Laurel, you've had a membership there for years. So maybe I'll talk about mine because I think mine was a little different where I love massages. I think it's one of my top favorite things in the world. Stay tuned for the other four. And my mom, when you're for the holidays, she got, she always looks up and does research on Yelp and finds good reviews of places. And you guys have amazing reviews for Eco Chateau, of course. And so she bought me a gift certificate there and I came in for a massage and it was just so nice. And then when I kind of was just telling a few people about it here and there, I people who've been there like, oh my gosh, I love Eco Chateau and talk about your products. And then I met Laurel. She's like, oh, I've been a member there for years. And now we're both members and I'm I'm in. So Laurel, maybe you give your introduction yeah. to Eco Chateau. Yes, it was a cold maritime evening in Ocean Beach. And I was in my like 300 square foot apartment. I was so cold because there's no, for those of you that don't live in OB, there's no heating and no air conditioning. And so I'm in a cement box and I was freezing. And I was like, I really need to get into a sauna. No idea where one is. I Googled, I saw this thing that said infrared sauna. But what really caught my eye aside from that, where I was like, what's an infrared sauna? Uh, I saw the name Eco Chateau and being an environmental consultant at the time, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm listening. And I just called um, the Mission Valley location and was like, I'm freezing. What's an infrared sauna? And they explained to me and I came and I visited and I've been a member ever since. It, well, I looked. I got a monthly membership package. I got the unlimited saunas added on top of that. And, uh, and then when Jess and I launched our own business, I was like, I want to consult with them. I want to help them out. I just love the people that I love and you guys are awesome. And here we are today where we get to, aside from talking about you all the time in person, we get to share it virtually with the world. Eco Chateau, our favorite wellness spa. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, for our listeners, when I first became a member, Eco Chateau was owned by a woman named Christine, who, fun fact, was a member of our co-working space, Parahub. And and then we got to know Steve. Steve, why don't you tell us about your background and why you chose to become the owner of Eco Chateau? My background's probably a little different than you may expect as a spa owner. Um, I was a golf pro for 15 years in the Philadelphia area. Um, I ran a high-end private club. Um, so my background is high-touch customer service and all my training is high-touch customer service. Uh, we moved to Florida um, for my wife's job. I got out of golf, I got into, uh, basically I got into home automation. I was a COO for a home automation company. And then we moved out to California again for my wife's job I keep fine and i was looking for something to do and at the same time eco chateau was for sale and it just fits my background as a you know high touch customer service is really is everything i've been trained for so between golf and a spa started thinking about it as okay it's just it's a different product but it's you know people trying to relax and enjoy themselves and and um we wound up looking further into it and then we found out more about the wellness aspect of it and then we found out more about the sustainability aspect of it and everything lined up perfectly for my wife and i and actually she's a spa girl anyway so it 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 really helped out <laughs> um, and uh, met the team, came in as a couple times for services and really enjoyed my time and thought of different ways that uh, we could probably improve on what was here. So we went for it. And actually tomorrow will be three years since we purchased Eco Chateau. So it's an anniversary tomorrow. 
Yay! <laughs> we celebrate. We are. I don't know how yet, but we will. <laughs> You'll see something on Instagram, that's for sure. <laughs> As you're telling that story, I was like, man, I can I can only dream that someday I'll marry someone who will buy me a spa. <laughs> <laughs> well, She's she putting it out there to the universe now. <laughs> she used to get spa packages for her birthdays, and now she has a spa. So actually two of them. <laughs> I, uh, congratulations on three years. That's a magical number. That's, yeah. it's a feat. It's wonderful. And speaking of a milestone and a feat and wonderful, Olivia, tell us about your recent milestone and how you became um, an Eco Chateau employee and what your role is. Yeah. So I just graduated from San Diego State this last May. Yay. <laughs> um, with a degree in public relations and sustainability. So, my junior year of college, I was really just looking for a part-time job, somewhere where I could go and still be able to do everything else that's going on in the college life, finals, studying. Um, but I decided I've worked at other corporations, different places that I really wanted to work somewhere that shared my values for sustainability. It was when I was really getting involved in my environmental justice classes and things like that. Um, so same as you, Laurel, when I came across something called Eco Chateau, I was like, what is that? And the more I looked into the website and found out about their sustainability practices, I just knew I wanted to, if I'm going to spend my time working somewhere, I want to spend my time working somewhere that believes in the same things I do. Um, so I've been at Eco Chateau for two years last August, this last August, which Time has flown by. Um, when I first started, like I said, I was just part time and then just mm -hmm. over time slowly took on more responsibilities. And this last January, I was promoted to assistant spot manager. Um, so I'm working here full time now and it's just been incredible. I get to work so closely with Steve, which is an experience you don't get in a lot of places to work that closely with the owner and the, your boss and the real decision makers of the company and have your voice heard like that. Um, and I get to use what I learned in school, marketing, sustainability practices in our business. Um, and I get to do it at my own pace. So it's been a super unique experience. And I honestly couldn't have asked for anything better, especially graduating this May. There was no ceremony. Basically, just have a piece of paper that said you did it. Um, so <laughs> it's been really great. Congratulations. Thanks. Like, yeah, I was thinking, I was like, that's a you know, 2020 obviously has been a challenging year for like so many reasons, but you hit some like really big milestones. So I think that's something for sure to be celebrated. And even if it didn't look like you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just feels so real, honestly. It was just such a weird time. Everyone was at home doing their finals of their final courses. Like our last semester wasn't on campus. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And what role, so when you first started there two years ago, what were you originally hired to do? Yeah, so my original role was just spot mm -hmm. coordinator. So we're the people greeting you at the front mm -hmm. desk when you come in, checking you in and out, you know, booking appointments. Um, about six months after I was with the company, I was moved into guest experience, which basically I reach out to people on Yelp that left reviews. I reach out to clients that had maybe not as great of an experience, um, as well as just booking our spa parties. So anytime we have a large group of people in, I was responsible for making sure that they have the best time possible with us. Um, and then, you know, I think I just have a very administrative mind. So a lot of those things come to me. So I've just been able to really, this was my first role as any kind of like front desk, receptionist, what type position, answering phones. Um, the first time I left a voicemail with a client, I like panicked, stumbled over my words and hung up and was just like, <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> so it's really just been a learning experience, but it's just been incredible. We have amazing clients and staff here and it's just such a community and I've just grown into my own here and it's been incredible. That's so wonderful. And it's like awesome, Steve, that, you know, I was thinking of kind of as an owner and like hiring a college student and then giving her room to grow into this role and recognizing her abilities is like Olivia said, like an amazing opportunity. And from your perspective, like when you were hiring, like how was that working? Were you just like, were you seeing like that she was capable of more and 
like how did you feel like hiring a college student or was that just for the role at the time yeah how did you steve <laughs> <laughs> now we um in the beginning you know she had uh when she came in for the interview she had good energy had a had a great background um you know really we we thought that she was going to do great for a year and a half and then graduate and go somewhere else um but as time grew she really grew into the role and really started to k kind of epitomize what we what we want in a team member um at the same time we we did a restructure of our whole management team um and Olivia was the perfect fit for her position, at, you know, as of now, and looking for her to grow as the company grows um, even further. That's so great. It seems, you know, like what you just said too, and having been there, that you you're very intentional with who you bring on, and you know, like Olivia was saying, it's very customer, well, both of you are saying that, it was very customer service centric and client focus and what, I'm sorry, I've never heard that term before, high client, high touch client? What was that? High touch customer service. High so touch high touch, service. Yeah, okay. high touch customer service is really, you know, it's making sure that everybody enjoys their experience the whole time and you, you, proud, you need to reach out to them um, not only when they had a bad day, but when they had a good day, you know, you, you need to, to make sure that the, it's personalized and that everybody remembers you for the right reasons and, you know, walk people through the process the whole time. And that's what I try and do, not only with the clients, but with our team, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember, you know, I, I, explain all the reasons why i probably over explain things to people i'm probably over overly transparent but that's really our background it, or is you know let's make sure we understanding you have to understand the why you know why are you doing this why are you here um why why did you come to eco chateau why you know why did you have a great experience and if you don't understand the why they're not going to understand the why so we want all of our clients, our members, and before, um, you know, the early part of 2020, when we had an opportunity to talk to people a little bit more, we were taking videos of our members so we can put on social media. And we were asking them, you know, we want to understand your why. Why are you here? And, you know, why do you enjoy it? So that all goes along with what I would consider high touch customer service. Just a little explanation of. What no, I'm, thank what you. <laughs> it was very I appreciate that. I've never heard that term before. So thanks for yeah. for educating me. <laughs> what is um and speaking of why, why does Eco Chateau exist? Uh what's its role in society? Uh it's a wellness spa. What does that mean? Well, I think uh one of the opportunities that Christine, when she started the business, had, and we we still see it, is we offer services all in one location that nobody else does in the area. And it was a unique experience as the spa was basically formed around putting colon hydrotherapy in a spa setting instead of just a clinical setting. Um, you know, so now you have that when you can go get a massage, you have all of your detox programs, you have the infrared saunas that we mentioned, we do the eye on foot detox, you can do we call one her and, um, you know, the massage to help you detox and, you know, help sore muscles, skincare that we do with the facials, you know, everything is all about improving your wellness. And um, that's really the reason that it's here. And with the unique experience that you could have doing all those different services in one location, I think that really sets us apart. I would, I agree. I was um, engaged via the infrared sauna offering. And once I was there, I loved the setting, the vibe. I mean, I loved the bathroom with the, the pennies on the floor. I, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm an easy sell. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> what really, <laughs> what Wait, really got me. Sorry, Laura, to cut you off, but I just have a quick little story. When we actually did this, took some people to the spa last weekend when you're talking about like these socially distanced safely. And one of our friends came out who had never been there. She's like, have you seen the bathroom in there? <laughs> it was like just people on the floor, like, look at the panties. <laughs> it's just fascinating. And, and um, I was like, what is this Chanel number two situation that's, that they've got at Eco Chateau? And so I learned about colon hydrotherapy and I've tried it at one other place and it was not enjoyable. It was not and, what? And, <laughs> what's that? What did you say? It was not what? Uh, it was not enjoyable at okay. this other other place I went to. And I came to Eco Chateau and I, it was a breeze. So much easier. And having the one-on-one -on -one attention and the bathroom with the pennies on the floor. <laughs> and and um, like you said, having having that service but in a spa setting you could get a sauna so you can relax beforehand you do colon hydrotherapy and then once you're all like cleaned out and refreshed you can do a massage and then you can end up with a facial so you have just a full full body transformation in yeah. one setting it was great yeah i also think that as far as like what we do to be sustainable and eco-friendly not only can you come enjoy all those services in a relaxed setting, but you can come knowing that we're doing what we can for the planet in every step of our business. So not only are you coming just to relax, but you can choose to come to a company that shares either your values socially or environmentally. Um, so I think that that's a huge part of it too. I agree. I was really attracted to the it being powered by solar energy. Um, in the Mission Valley location, that was attractive to me at first, and um, and many people think that sustainability is just planet. Tell us about some of the social programs you have that stand out among other spas. I think our biggest one and the one that um, that we're most proud of is we offer a program called the TLC for the Big C, and what that. What that does is we offer memberships to people who unfortunately are going through cancer treatments. And it's a monthly wellness membership that we, that we it's something that can help out in different ways. We've had some people use the services and the saunas um, to help them detox because of what they're going through. And we've had other people that we're going through treatments and they're like, you know what, I'm just getting a massage because, you know, I just want to relax. You know, I have so many other things going on and I just need something to relax. So that's the one. And we're super proud of, we, I mean, we do other things as well, but the, the one that we really um, enjoy is giving the, giving the TLC for the big C program the best part of it is when people graduate from the program and they're done their treatments and they've, you know, and they're, they're in remission and they, you know, they thank us because they, we, we tried to help out in a little, in a little way for them. Um, but to watch them just come in and say, Hey, I now need to pay for my membership cause I'm out of treatment. That's, that's great <laughs> because they, uh, you know, they've made it through. Yeah, it's pretty incredible to build relationships with clients that are going through that time in their lives and to know that we're here for them um, in any way that we can be. I've never worked somewhere that cares about their clients or builds like lost relationships like we do. Um, like Steve said, like to have someone graduate is just an incredible feeling. And to have them choose to stay with us even after they graduate is even better to know that we did anything we can to make that time just a little bit better for them and their families. And as a member, that's so amazing. Like, sorry, was like, I, I hadn't, I've never heard of a program like that. And, you know, Laurel's the one who told me that, you know, Eco Chateau provides that. And I just think it's, it's just so thoughtful and just such an incredible way to give back. So. Yeah. I we normally, it. we normally get, uh, 
get members of the program from normally one of our clients that knows somebody and they, you know, they, they let us know about it. So we, we wind up reaching out to them most part saying, you know, if it was Laurel, for instance, you know, Laurel, um, not I'm age of being our program and we want to offer you, you know, it's a monthly membership that, you know, no charge and we want you to come in and enjoy your time. And they're so thankful that Laurel nominated them. Whereas a lot of people keep it private and they don't want to, you know, they don't want to come out and say, Hey, can I get in your program? You know, which is understandable. Um, but when they do actually get nominated by somebody, they feel uh, extremely thankful to that person who, who nominated them and then they come in and they use the services for whatever they need it for. Yes. I've been, I've been fortunate that like I haven't had to go through the big C experience, but being a member of eco Chateau makes me feel like I'm a part of the community that's supporting these individuals that are going through this big time. So I'm grateful to have the opportunity through eco Chateau to give back in my indirect way of just being involved in the community. I, I, when I learned, I mean, I was attracted to a, a sauna and a solar panel. And then when I heard about the TLC uh, for the Big C program, I can't stop talking about it. I refer, I'll, when I speak to physical therapists or people at conferences that are speaking about overcoming these big challenges in life when it comes to cancer and you know, I go to these women's health conferences and, you know, you're bound to someone knows somebody that's going through it. And to be able to say, hey, I really love my Eco Chateau Wellness Spa. I go here to relax, unwind, declutter and calm down um, and just be present with myself. And they have this these amazing programs like not only are they eco because it's environmentally friendly, but they're sustainable because they offer all these social programs. Um, again, I, th I just can't thank you enough for being a leader in the community for that. Yeah, there, and that's, that's our, that's our main one, but we also do, um, Oops, sorry, are we thinking? Am I frozen? Uh, Steve was frozen. Steve, do you want to repeat that? Still frozen. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that, I was going to say that's our that's our main program, but um, you know, we also have other community activities that people we donate sauna passes to. Um, we have a lot of different activities that come to us. A couple of years or. About a year and a half ago, um, we I did a 5K with uh, the Wave Academy, um, and what that is is that helps um, injured vets through water therapy. Uh, so there's a lot of lot of different things that we like to get involved in, especially if it's something fun like a 5K. It wasn't that fun when I did it because. I was not in shape at the time, but uh, <laughs> you know those type of things we 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 love getting involved in. Yeah. Yes. And speaking of getting in shape, you have a twenty-one day program or challenge. Tell us about that. Yeah. So we do. We have a. It's called a twenty-one day detox program. And uh, during our second shutdown this year, uh, I asked the rest of the management team, Michelle, Christina, and Olivia, to see if they wanted to do the program with me. Because um, I had done it once before when we, about three years ago, right, as we purchased uh, the spa. Um, and it was time for another one. And since we had all the time, we had days where we can come in and do this. Um, it turned out to be a great experience, I thought, and everybody, we all completed it, which was good. And I'm gonna, I'll let Olivia tell you a little bit more about the bones of it. Um, yeah, so it was a pretty incredible experience, not only to be able to bond with my team like that, because we were all going through this together. We were in the spot every day together for 21 days. 
Um, but it was pretty cool to see the results of the program as well, because we're all very different physically. We're all at different ages in our life, different physical abilities and activities. Um, so the 21 Day Detox program itself is a pretty intensive program. It includes um, 20 minutes on our whole body vibration machine, which is a lymphatic drainage machine. So that basically gets everything going. 60 minutes in our infrared sauna every day for 21 days. And then three times throughout the 21 days, an ionic foot detox session. Um, on top of that, you're taking a range of different supplements and vitamins every day as well. And you kind of build up your tolerance to them throughout the 21 days. I think the most visible um the most visible result of the 21 day detox program is you are doing you do a ionic foot detox at the beginning the middle and the end and basically what that does is it draws toxins from your body out through the pores on the bottom of your feet um so if you've ever done one they're very gross because it's just pulling all of this stuff from inside of you um and the water is like brown and murky and black and bubbly and like you just don't know what's going on with it and then you do one in the middle and you do one at the end. And I think all four of us just had such cleaner water at the end because you've been detoxing so heavily throughout the 21 days that your body's not even holding on to that much more by the end. Um, so it's pretty incredible to track it that way as well. But that's what the 21 day detox program is. I have done the Robert. Ionic book cleanse. Oh, go ahead, Steve. I was going to ask Olivia, I said, what, what was the biggest, like, how did it help you the most? For me, I was trying to clean out uh, my blood. So I had, you know, I got my blood work taken right afterwards and my levels were super, really good. You know, they were right in line with everything that I was supposed to have. So, you know, that's, that was the main thing that I was going for. It also helped other areas, you know, sleep and different things, but how did it help Olivia the best? I think for me, I'm a very high stress person. Mm -hmm. I'm very active, so I don't sleep well at night because my mind is always going. Um, and I just slept in great every night. Like you, your body's going through so much that you need to sleep eight hours each night to just let it repair. But I usually have trouble falling asleep. I have vivid dreams and then I wake up early. But during that program and for a couple of weeks after, I just slept so incredibly. I think my body was exhausted <laughs> and it just helped me sleep every night. And that in itself impacted other areas of my life where I was just higher performing because I was sleeping every night. I think it's so great that you guys did this as a team. You found some like, you know, you said this was during the second shutdown. And so you weren't just sitting around waiting. And you're like, okay, let's use this time and do something good. And I think I, you know, I mentioned to you guys um, previously, I love looking forward because you wrote about in your newsletters about the experience that each four had. And it really highlighted, like you said, Olivia, like the different places that each of you are at individually. And I think, you know, when it comes back to the high touch customer service, am I saying that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the high touch customer service. It, that just adds so much more value to what you're already doing because you can convey like this very recent experience that you had and walk through like, this is where I started. This is where I ended. These are the results. Like you both had like different visibility with your results. And I think it just really adds so much to the customer service level. You're not just like kind of walking through a menu. You're like, this is a menu. Oh yeah, I did this. And this is my experience. You know, yours might be different, but I just think that just really like reinforces everything you're already saying that you guys do. Yeah, I think along with that too, if you ever look over our memberships and package options, there's a ton of them. There's an option for everyone because we really want every client to find what works best for their body um, and financially as well. So we have memberships that you can do add-ons. We have packages that don't expire. We have things that you can give. So we have things that you can mix and match just because once you're coming in and trying things out, you find what works for you and what you like. And so we have an option for that because we really just want everyone to find what's best for them. So yeah, and as they, <laughs> we all were like, as yes, a, yes. <laughs> and as as a um, you know, another portion of wanting everybody to do the 21 day detox for me, I was the only one currently on the team that has done it. 
and I think it's really important to understand everything that you're offering. So I wanted, you know, the rest of the management team to try it out. I've now completed every service that we have here at Eco Chateau, just so I could understand what's going on. Uh, for instance, there was one day I even did a prenatal massage just to find out what that's all about. Um, so it, it was different. The, the massage therapist thought that I was a little crazy, I think, yeah, because it was booked. She thought I was booked incorrectly. I said, nope, I need to figure out, you know, what a prenatal massage is. So we did the whole. We did. I, I think you just need to understand everything that you're offering. And I, I think that, again, going back to the high touch customer service, if, if I don't understand what the prenatal massage is, then I can't explain it to people. But now now I can. <laughs> I, I think I, that's that's that. leadership. Yeah, it really is. And I was thinking as you're talking about this and something that I don't think I recognize until we're having this conversation is that with, okay, like I said, I feel like I know everything there, at least with massages, the other services I know you offer a lot. I'm still a newbie ish, um, but massages are my jam. And so you go, what I love about Eco Chateau is that it's it's very warm like it's a very you could tell it's very customer service and client oriented when you walk in there it's very flexible and i love that because there's so many places you walk in and it's like this huge spa and there's like a waterfall and all this stuff and then you and it's very cold personally and so it's like you put all this energy into this environment and then the service is so cold and impersonal and you can tell that the people who are working there aren't really engaged with the place. They're like, this is just a job. Like, I'm going to rub your shoulders and then get out, lady. And what this reminds me of is my second experience with Eco Chateau, which is when I had, I talked about this a little bit, but I had mono two years ago as like a grown adult. And I think I just crashed. I think my body, I think I was just dead. I got mono. And it was a long, long recovery. And like at least a year and it was brutal. And poor Laurel, that's when we met and I was working with her. I'm like, there's some days from work. I'm like, I can't drive home. And she'd had to drive me home. And so for my birthday that year, two years ago, almost not to my birthday is Monday. So it's almost literally two years ago to the day. Laurel's like, that's it. I'm giving you my eco chateau. Um, she's like, I have a membership there. So she was able to gift me some of her services and it's a nominal fee. The spa made it super easy to go in. She she gifted me a massage, a facial, and I think a sauna too. And so I went and had this wonderful spa day and just like got to unwind and like relax and de stress. And sorry, I've had my caffeine now, so I'm going. But when you're talking about all the services there, is that because of what I was going through and like these symptoms, I got this massage, this cranial sacral massage. Which was my to this I talk about it to everybody to this day. It was mind blowing. And I didn't know what to expect, but I was having like head and neck pain. And I was just laying there. I'm like, okay, whatever, we'll see what this is about. And like when she's touching me, like there were like my hand would like jerk and twitch to and I was startled because I was like, I cannot believe this and I started like tearing up and like almost crying. And I was just so like, What is happening here? And that was when I was like, Oh, this is energy work is real. Like this is a thing. So anyway, I was just thinking about like how impactful that was for me. And it was just so easy and it was so warm. And like, now we're able to do that as members too. Like we can get this to other people and regular people. And it's just, it's just easy to work with. And it's not like a hurdle to get someone in for a spa appointment. Well, one right. of the, one of the, one of the things that I think that I'm most proud of is, uh, you know, with our team, we, we, have a, we have a great team. And I tell this to people all the time because you mentioned earlier our Yelp reviews. And most places, if you look at their Yelp review, they may get a five-star Yelp review and they'll say, hey, I went to this XYZ spa and it was beautiful and it had a waterfall and, you know, it was super clean and I had a great massage. I, uh, our Yelp reviews may say, you know, it was a great spa. I went to Eco Chateau. It was a great spa. It was super clean. It was a cool environment. 
and I had a great massage with Angela or with Kyle or with Shelly or with Shalice, or I had a great facial with Amy. And, you know, you'll see that they may be in for their first time, but they know the therapist's name. And that's because our team is super great at connecting with people. And, and as soon as I read that and I look at it and it's like, okay, well, they mentioned, they, a lot of times people mention the therapist, but then another one which makes it even better is they'll mention the admin team member that was, you know, that checked them in. Like our last one in Sorrento from a couple of weeks ago was beautiful place. They took a picture of our lobby, put it on there and had a great massage with Kyle and Tara at the front desk was phenomenal checking me in. So, you know, when, when I see that, I already know how good the team is, but uh, that's how I want everybody else to know how good the team is, um, to see that that's how personal we are. And again, it all leads back to the high touch customer service. Um, our team is great at that. Not only are they great at the, ser at the service themselves, uh, but they're also great at the connection. Yeah, like one of my favorite Yelp reviews is a client, it was her first time in with us and she put it in her Yelp review that it was the anniversary of her son's passing and she was really nervous about how to spend her day. And she left us a five-star review, just a glowing review of, she was really happy that she had chosen us because we just made her feel so much better on such a hard time. And to read something like that and to know how our team affected her on like such a hard day for her, it's just, it's amazing. And I, I want to share that giving, it's in the giving that we receive, you know, St. Francis of Assisi, it's in the giving that we receive. So when I get to give Jessa my things, and it's not a pain to do that administratively, it's done with a friendly service, I know who's doing it, I call them, I'm like, this is Jessa, she's coming in, she needs these things. It's like not a problem. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to manage it. There's nothing that irritates me more when I'm a better administrative manager than the people that I'm paying to support me. I, you know, I'm not trying to be egotistical um, or snobby, but like that bugs me is when I have to manage something that I shouldn't have to be managing. With Eco Chateau, I'm not managing anything. I show up for myself and like that's it. And yeah. And knowing that being a part of this community means I get to give. That means I'm receiving even more. Like there's this value exchange that's happening at this wellness spa that isn't just a monetary transaction. Is It isn't just um, quick relief on my muscles. I mean, Amy sent me into an entirely different universe on my facial. I sh like, I don't know what was happening, but I was in Joshua Tree and the stars and we, I was just like, don't ever leave me. It was a magical experience getting a facial with Amy. Like, I, rem I recommend the creme de la creme. It's very nice. And, and, then, and then to top it all off, it's not just this gorgeous, personal giving and receiving community. We get to use the space for these spa parties. And recently, Jess and I created this uh, group of women leaders, um, kind of biz woo people, we call them our supernovas. And we went to the Sereno Valley spa location. And let me tell you, it was the right place for a bonding experience. The beautiful view, like I didn't even need to be in the lobby. I, I could have sat on the concrete outside and been fine. And then you get into this gorgeous lobby where Tara, speaking of Tara, was so welcoming, so on point. We got our lovely kombucha. We sat around the table. We created the space and set our intentions. We did our infrared saunas. It was a magical experience that we got to create. And I never at one point felt like, okay, I got to tell Tara to do this. And then I got to call Olivia to do this. And then I got to set this up. And then I got to make sure I got to do this. And then I got, I had, I literally, the event just happened. Like I didn't have to do anything. It was great. Uh, so tell me about some of the other spa parties that you host and how you serve them. Because I think, I think your customer service is outstanding. Yeah, so we, 
always work with the clients and what they need. So we do have spa day packages like our sanctuary package or treat for two, but we also just work with anyone. So we've done bridal parties, bachelorette parties, birthday parties. Um, you know, we do have a private lobby in the back that we can always support them with. Um, we can provide champagne, we can provide a menu, guests are welcome to bring their own, and then we can provide cups. Um, yeah, I just think that when you're celebrating those days, like you said, or you're having an event, you don't wanna be the one, that's what we're here for, to support you in any way that you need. And so we're always willing to work with people for what exactly they need. Like you guys, for example, rented out our Sorrento Valley location, so you were the only guest there and you got the full, us able to focus on you. Um, you know, when we have spa parties here on a day that we're open, we tend to bring in like an extra staff member or I'll be here just for the spa party to ensure that they're having the best experience possible because we want them to be able to celebrate their event. Even the one person that set it up, they need to be able to be with their group and be in the moment and not be worried about those background things. Yeah, I was thinking too, as you're talking about all this stuff and the names, um, I'm giggling because I think it was three weeks ago, and now that I say names, I think it was Astrid I got a facial with. And we were like getting such a deep conversation and we were connecting about so many things that we exchanged phone numbers at the end because I'm like, I was like, is this okay? Like, I don't want to like break any rules, but like, I wanted to send her, like we were talking about like some podcasts. She's like, you got to check out this website for, you know, some of this stuff. And anyway, it was just so funny because like at the end, we were just were like, I mean, I wanted to talk the whole time of, of course. And so we were just like connecting and it was so great to just like have that open conversation. And it, it was just, I don't know, I've never done that before with someone. So I was laughing. And then Justin, I had the same experience. I, I was getting a massage and I, my body started to move <laughs> with the music. And she was like, are you an Aquarius? I'm like, yeah, she's like me too. And I was like, I mean, I'm really enjoying this playlist. She's like, it's my Aquarius playlist. Do you want it? And I was just like, oh my God, my mind is melting. <laughs> so good. I actually had something really funny happen in my, this is going to sound, well, I don't know if I should share a story because it, it does, it sounds bad, but I think this one, I think I found out that my spirit guide might be Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> 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 um, we Laurel and I, so Laurel and I, you know, we're we're very open to things, and and so like quarterly, we've decided to do we do like a psychic, like a tarot reading, and we're just like, okay, let's just see what the universe is bringing us. And she's talking to me about my guide, and she's like, did your guide have this color hair, or like, you know, did you lose like a dad or an uncle and all this stuff? I'm like, nope, nope. She's like you know, something with the L, like a big lung cancer, lymphoma. I'm like, no, I've been very, very fortunate in my life, you know, like, no. And so the, the psych, like, oh, maybe in another lifetime. I'm like, okay. And so, um, so I'm getting this massage with Astrid and like something happened with, I feel so bad saying this, but with her Spotify and Eddie Van Halen came on and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And we were talking and I'm like, I was like, I've been in like a hundred massages, a hundred facials. Like, it's like, this has never happened. And she, and she was like, so she like, I was like, I, I was like, it's okay. It's like not a big deal. I don't care. And she like made a little joke about Van Halen and I, would, and I had just been talking to her about my guide. And I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. Like I have no one in my life. And he, he died from lung cancer. So I found out that in my facial, I think Eddie Van Halen is my spirit guide. I texted Laurel immediately after I was like, he was coming through. <laughs> we were on like another plane. <laughs> so I've had some deep moments there too, I guess. Magical experiences <laughs> brought to you by e Yeah. Um, when I first started here, I had never had a professional massage, never had a professional facial. I've never been to a spa. Um, and I didn't really know anything about holistic wellness. Um, so one of the first things I did was I got a chakra massage with George. Um, and one of the things that he says at the beginning is, okay, when I'm doing the energy work, take note of any colors, sounds, images that you see in your mind and we'll, we'll break it down after. And so afterwards I was like, yeah, I saw this like white ball of light kind of surrounding me. 
Um, and it was around the anniversary of my mom's passing, which he had no idea. And he was like, oh yeah, so that would be like what we would call a guardian spirit or a guardian angel or whatever you, whatever that means to you. Um, there's just something like with you today. And I went in my car and I just cried and I'm not a crier, but it was just such a surreal experience for me and you know once getting I'm able to explain to clients what that kind of emotional release is like um so that was like one of my first massages here and it was just a great way to introduce me to what we are at Eco Chateau. Oh that's such George. a special story. That's so like gives me chills. I I feel really good around George. You know, like when you're with someone and you're like, oh, I just feel really good around you. I feel like, I can't remember what massage I got with um, George. I think it might've been like a deep tissue. Um, but I was like, I didn't want it to end. That's, I guess that's how I feel. Whenever I'm with each person at Eco Chateau, I just want to stay. Want to well, live great. And another thing too, I was saying about, sorry, as we're talking, I'm like, it's funny. I'm like getting all these like memories coming to mind. And I had a friend actually reach out to me earlier this year, right before the lockdown and her and her husband were celebrating um, their anniversary. And she reached out to me. She's like, I tried to make appointments or she's like, I made appointments for us at another spa. She's like, but their customer service is so terrible. She's like, I don't want to give them our business. Do you have any recommendations? Because I fancy myself a, uh, connoisseur as I've mentioned multiple times I was like oh eco chateau you gotta go and she um I was actually just looking back to see what she said and she was like okay great booked and she texted me immediately after her massage because I know because she's like I was she was like oh my gosh it was so wonderful thank you so much for the recommendation I was like oh how was it what'd you do she's like I got a massage and she was talking about her husband was still in the massage so I was like I knew that was the first thing she did when she got out was like this was so amazing thank you so for me, it made me look really good too, to be like, I have a good place to send my friends to. And um, so thank you guys. <laughs> it's all yeah. about me at the end of the day, right? That's what we're getting back yeah, keep, to. Keep sending, keep, keep sending more friends. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I and guess that was the point. It's like, what, what can the community and stakeholders do for the Eco Chateau business to get you where you wanna be? I mean, COVID, Duh, it was a thing. It happened. It's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can you do? I think the biggest thing we're, we're trying to do is just uh, get our work, get the word out about us and about what we do. Uh, it's it's a boutique spa, so it's it's not as, as large as other places. And when you get here, you, you do get the personal experience. And that, that's because of, you know, the size of the, the each location with you mentioned COVID with the COVID protocols. Uh, there's, we did all the protocols, but capacity wasn't something that we really had to worry about too much because, you know, the maximum number of people you, you can really get in guest for services. So if you're not in a service, you know, and you're not in the spa, then we're fine. Uh, but the really thing, the, the biggest thing I think is when people in San Diego, are thinking wellness uh, we want them to think eco chateau so it's it's about for us it's about wellness it's about sustainability it's about you know treating people right and we'd love to have everybody experience it at least once because i think they'll come back <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah agreed <laughs> I, I, don't, I have a question too sorry before because i know we're kind of we have like Kind of getting towards the end of this but um infrared sauna so that's something i refer people to and i told you guys before we started the, the recording that i have a difficult time explaining it and i think they're so wonderful and i tell people i'm like you gotta go for the infrared they're like what is it why infrared i'm like it's it's just good for you <laughs> so can you explain a little bit more about the benefits of and like what an infrared sauna is yeah, so our infrared saunas are private 40 minute sauna sessions. So that's a little bit different to you do get the whole room to yourself. But basically what the infrared technology does is it heats the body from the inside out. 
So with normal saunas, you're just heating the body, you're heating the air, which heats the body. So you're sweating just kind of those surface level toxins out. Whereas an infrared sauna, you're detoxing at the cellular level because since it's heating from the inside out, um, you're detoxing at the cellular level. So it literally has to work its way out of your body. So that's why a lot of clients will notice it might take them 10 to 15 minutes to start sweating when they get in. And that's because it's literally working its way out. Um, we do have, so with that, it's great for cellular regeneration, which is helps boost your immunity, helps get rid of some dead cells. Um, it's good for skin cell renewal because your skin cells are turning over. Um, you know, it's also just great for muscle joint, uh, muscle aches and joint pain because again, it's basically just helping your body kickstart cellular regeneration. Um, yeah. <laughs> I will vouch for it because I, when I think sauna, I was thinking like a big wooden room where I'd be with a bunch of naked people, you know, and, yeah. and it's, it's just me naked. No, I'm just kidding. And, and, but you're in a personal wood room. I can change the colors. I can wear my headphones and meditate. And there's even a yoga sauna where I can, I have the space to do yoga poses and meditate alone in this sacred setting. Wow. Yeah, for a lot of our clients, it's just a chance to take 40 minutes to themselves for that day, just kind of escape from all that craziness of everyday life and just take that moment to center themselves, especially with the infrared saunas. The more often you do them, your body gets used to the infrared. So you sweat more, the more often you do them, you might release like a lot of our clients after doing them for a while will have like colored sweat because there's actual toxins working their way out, um, which I experienced during the 21 day detox program. Um, and so, you know, we have some clients that are in here, we're open six days a week and they're here six days a week doing their sauna because it's just part of their daily routine to get that extra wellness boost in and to take that time for themselves. And I think with me, and so I'm a big, I love the infrared sauna. I've like become a big convert and someone like me. And I was funny, it's part of this too, is looking back at my friend's feedback from Eco Chateau. She's like, oh, I don't know, we go to a sauna or for 40 minutes, it's too much. I'm like, no, I, I used to think that I was that person and it was just so mental where I'm like, I can't sit in here for 40 minutes. And so I'd start off doing 15 or 20. I'm like, ah, oh, this is, you know, good enough. And I felt good. It was nice. And then I started doing 40 and I was like, my mind was blown. I felt so amazing and relaxed. And once I just got over that mental block of like, this is too long, this is too much, because it's not. And if you get too hot, you can step out. <laughs> and it, it just, it just feels so, so good. Like, yeah, it's like, it. I want to go do it this afternoon now. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm coming back to San Diego. We're getting in a spot in a sauna. You go in and normally a sauna to me is like walking into an oven. So I'm like baking myself like a pie. And I really don't like it. I really don't like feeling smothered with heat. Whereas infrared sauna, like you said, it, it's from the inside out. So it actually feels more like a release instead of feeling trapped. And um, I, I want that to resonate with the people that are listening because that's when we had our spa party, we didn't tell our, our friends what they were getting into. We kind of just wanted to like, I don't know, let's see what your adventure is like. And they figured it was going to be like this hot, you know, box uh, with naked people in it, you know, baking like cookies. And it, they, everyone came out and was like, well, <laughs> my life is different. This is a beautiful um, experience. And, and just to have also, you guys are very thoughtful. Not only are you following protocols for COVID and all that, but even before that, you would have these little sponge bowls so I could that were that were scented with essential oils so I could like periodically, you know, pat myself off with some good smelly stuff if I needed. And everything is is so thoughtful, intentional, easy, relaxing. And um I I just feel like I I for you want you to have as many customers as you can handle at Serenity Valley and Admission Valley. And I want you to have a flagship location if that's in your business future. Uh, you know, Steve, like what where do you want to be five years from now? You know, we all are a little bit triggered by the fact that our lives could change tomorrow. That aside, 
where would you like to be as a business in about five years so that we can all help you get there? Yeah, I think in five years, I, we would love to have an, a, an additional one or two locations. Um, and going back to the beginning of, we, we want to be known as the person, the place to go to when you think wellness, you know, not just, not just spa treatments, but, but we do have great spa treatments, uh, but uh, wellness in general is, is really what, what is our, our key. And, and I, I think really sets it up a couple more locations. Like you say, one would like a flagship location that may, you know, be a little bit larger um, that, that has, that we can do more things. Uh, the next, Part that we're going to start to work on is we're revamping our skincare uh, <clears throat> offerings. So you'll see a little bit more offered coming up in the next couple of weeks. And then we also are looking into different things with uh, more wet men's wellness. So different things to you know help help guys out who you know maybe getting a little bit older since you know that may kind of go with me <laughs> getting a little older and trying to be, you know, trying to figure out different ways that, uh, you know, we can have some more specific things towards, towards men. Cause that's only about 25% of our clientele at this point. Um, so again, with the more well-rounded wellness programming, I think we can turn into, you know, the go-to place in all of Southern California when it comes to wellness. I love that idea go to for wellness in Southern California. Some of the things that we didn't get to touch on that I really appreciate is I walk in there and I can buy the things that I need to buy that are local. OB Holistic Science Company, the candles, the eat dirt that goes in my coffee. Like it's just, you can't see it. It's like right there. And um, you know, little towelettes and the the skincare line um, really helps with the mask knee that we all are experiencing in this region. Yeah. And well, I think, or I'm sorry, just to add to that, Laurel, like after the facial I got, and I think, you know, with you guys being so intentional and thoughtful in everything, I trust the products that you're selling. So coming out of the facial and getting recommendations for it to buy and I, I know that it's going to be a good quality product. It's very thoughtful. And um, like you said, you guys are focused on sustainability. And so I, I have that peace of mind of like, okay, they've already done the research for me. I can trust these products and, uh, you know, just swipe the card and be on my way. <laughs> yeah. And one exciting thing too, is we're going to start selling for ocean products. So they're a national brand, but they're a 1% for the planet company. They remove plastic from the ocean. Um, so we've recently gone in contact with them. So we're going to start working with them as well. Um, bringing some, you know, reusable straws into the spa. Every company that we work with, we want to make sure not only is the product great and have sustainability in mind, but that the company itself shares our values and our mission. We feel very strongly about that at the Stellar Co. You guys are in complete alignment with how we like to do business and share and how we like to engage the vendors in our supply chains. And when we recommend the clients, you're doing exactly that. You're being thoughtful about your inputs and your outputs. Uh, thank you so much for being a leader in the organization. I know that, or in the industry, I know that uh, I love your kombuchas. Uh, the juice situation is great. There's just so many other things. I feel like we blew all the surprises, but I'm sure there's more for other people to discover when they come in. Um, and so as we wind down, um, Steve and Olivia, you guys pick which one, and finish this sentence. It could be anything. Wouldn't it be cool if... If we were the number one uh, thought when it come, came to wellness. <laughs> and Olivia? For me, I thought about it and, you know, wouldn't it be cool if, if people made decisions about themselves but thought about the planet and their community when they're doing that? Like in school, we learned about this thing called the not in my backyard phenomenon. And it's, if you're not seeing it, it's not happening to you in your own backyard. We forget it happens. And 
we kind of ignore it or it's easy to not think about how our daily decisions impact everything else around us. So, you know, it would be cool if people thought about the bigger picture when they're just doing their day-to-day -day practices because everything has such a huge impact somewhere else. Agreed. And with that, tell us your three-point landing. The three key takeaways you want everyone to walk away I, with and just so we'll throw them up on the screen for us. I think it just goes right back to our mission statement and even like the last sentence in our mission statement. My wife and I put a lot of time into the mission statement. And I think as a business owner, you, um, if you don't have something that you believe in as your mission statement, then you know, you're, you're not going to do as well. So I think the last sentence is, you know, utilizing a balanced approach to ecological and economic sustainability. We will promise to be good to our team, clients, community, and planet. And that's pretty much the way we feel and the way that we act. And uh, especially to our team, because, uh, we know that we can't do it without our team and, and our, we try and do whatever we can uh, for them and explain our goals to them. And my one would just be buy local holiday season. Even if it's not from us, small businesses are really hurting in this COVID time. Mm -hmm. And you'd be amazed at what you can find at a local company versus a larger corporation or online shopping. So just try and keep in mind, maybe mm -hmm. open, broaden your aspects a little bit when you're looking for holiday shopping, even if it's not from us. One more. One more. Um, What's that? One more is probably just, um, hmm. <laughs> Just keeping the, um, I don't know, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one more is, um, I would say with the holidays coming up, even though we can't stay, you know, really can't get together and gather with everybody, uh, you know, keep your families in mind and, Anything that you can do to help them out uh, goes goes great with the wellness. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of people that are struggling um, mentally because of all the shutdowns. That uh, you know, wellness goes along with um, you know your your mind as well as your body. So just reach out to anybody that you can and make sure everybody's in a good good frame of mind for the holidays. Yes. Great reminder. Mission statement, mission statement, shop local, and reach out to family, connect with them for mental wellness. Think of Eco Chateau first when you think of wellness. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. This was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.